Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper, and this is the Chrono 4 by Michigan Synthworks. So, the Chrono 4 is a TB303 inspired sequencer uh, for both pitch and gate and accent, actually. So, it's a three way well sequencer in, in that regard. I do have to thank Michigan Synthworks for making this unit available for me and therefore sponsoring this episode um for now i would say well let's dive right in and i've got so many thoughts to share with you and uh, that i'll do during the conclusion so i would say uh, here we go so welcome the chronovore to the stage um first thing um what you're going to see is the japanese writing there that actually translates to time eater which is of course the literal meaning of the word chronovore um Chrono coming from Greek, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, time and then, of course, vor as in herbivore, carnivore, omnivore, eater. So that's quite nice. I love that uh, little uh, eye for detail that uh, Michigan Synth Works put into that. So what are we going to do? So I'm going to disregard this first part of that. So I'm not going to focus on track and patterns. I'm just going to do the sequences that we can do from here because that's typically what you want if you're performing. And I'm just going to show you how you can work out a basic sequence and what the options are that you have available to you. So the first thing you need to do is if you're in the normal mode or in pitch mode, hold down the, uh, the function key and set the number of notes that you want. So what I'm going to do, what I always do is I'm going to do stranger things because I'm no virtuoso and this is something I can easily do. That's one. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to set the times for that. So that's that. Go into pitch mode and actually play the pitch that you want. But before we do that, I'm going to make sure that we have this thing patched up so that we can actually hear what we're doing. So the CV out goes into the Volt Proactive in of my Nano Modules Ona. I'm going to grab the pulse out and patch that into the input of my VCA. I'm going to grab the gate out of this. I'm going to patch that into channel one of maths and I'm going to patch accent to channel number four of maths and the reason why is because I want to make sure that we can actually hear if we have something that is accented that we can actually hear the differences there so that being said we now should have this patched up correctly once I put in the sum into the VCA and we can say and there's nothing more to it so you can go up to 16 notes that you can play and of course fewer if you want so let's do that again, shall we? So, hold down the function key, set the number of notes you want to play. That's it. Go to time mode, play that. We might want to do it in either um, notes or triple notes. There you go. Go to pitch mode, play it. That's great, right? So how about we stop this and we're just gonna do something random, right? So I'm gonna set it to 16 notes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There you go. And I'm going to set the time mode to uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. There you go. 
and then we're just going to play something in pitch mode that's probably going to be enough actually not quite not too bad actually so what we can now do is we can also play around with some of the other settings. So we're still in pitch mode and I can just step through this sequence. While we're stepping through that, I can actually do uh, the notes one octave down or one octave uh, up as well. And you can add accents and slides. So hold this down, one octave down and do a slide. Next, octave up and an accent again slide up down down accent something like that so you hear the difference between an accented note and a non-accented note just the volume change you hear the slides and you hear the octaves going up and down as well so it's actually quite fun to play with this right so what you can also do is immediately stop playing switch to normal mode and switch to the second sequence or to the third all the way down to the eighth so this makes this great for performing right easy it is to work with this so as mentioned this is of course fully based on the 303 user interface so anyone who's ever programmed a 303 would immediately be capable of programming their sequences uh, but even for me who's never touched the 303 or a clone um, this was something that just took me a day to pick up and now this has become one of my favorite sequences and the reason why is of course because you've got this small keyboard there so it's really quickly just to play something and immediately create either a bass loop or a or a lead and you can do beautiful things with this and it's just a, a, a wonderful module to put to work with so the sky is the limit and as mentioned, if you've ever worked with a 303, this is a an easy recommendation. If you've never played with a 303 and you're looking for a very performance-oriented sequencer, this is one thing that you should seriously consider. And um, I just love it. And I'm gonna keep this in my rack for quite some time. So that being said, uh, let's go back to the studio and wrap this up. For now, I would say, uh, I'm going to enjoy myself a bit more. <laughs> so I hope everyone enjoyed this review of the Chronovore by Michigan Synthworks. Um, I do have to thank them again for sponsoring this episode, of course. Uh, this episode wouldn't have been possible without them. So Raf, thanks a million. Um, it would come as no surprise to anyone that I would recommend this module to everyone and not just to people that have used the 303 before. If you've used the 303 before, you've got everyone beat because you don't have to go through the learning curve and get the hang of how to program this module. For those of you who haven't done that, done so, don't worry. It's gonna take you maybe a day and then it's become second nature at the drop of a hat. So no worries there whatsoever. And the main reason why I want to recommend this especially for performing, is you can build so much muscle memory with this module. There is no menu diving, it's got several modes that you can easily switch between, and then you can just program it without looking at it. With this built-in keyboard, just by setting up your sequences, 
it can't be beat in that regard, at least not according to me, uh, in my humble opinion, of course. Um, that being said, I will recommend everyone just go ahead, give this module a thought if you're looking for a new sequencer. And for now, I would say, please, everyone, stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you for my next video. Cheers.